My name is Travis Shu. I'm a mechanical engineering mentor on Team 971 Spartan Robotics. Over the years, our robots have evolved and become more and more complicated and integrated systems as we've learned more as a team. Um, we've built up a lot of communal knowledge about how to build robots that are both controllable and how to control them very well. And we started out when I was in high school. We built pretty simple, average robots, and we've always wanted to figure out how to get better, and we've been working as a team to do that ever since. What makes our robot unique is really the marriage of mechanical engineering and software and controls. And we build, we build mechanical systems to a level that is not common among first, and then we put software on top of it that is one of the best software out there. In, in the last couple of years, the vision processing and the computer processing in FIRST has really matured to the point where we're able to put on software in a way that we haven't been able to do before. And this year I think was exemplified by all the teams that had vision and we were strived, worked hard to be at the forefront of that. One of the most common misperceptions about what we do about FIRST is that the end result is what happens on the competition field. But really, that's just a head fake. The end result is the preparation that leads us to what happens on the competition field and that's what really changes the students. Our team members have the opportunity to work with world-class engineers from Silicon Valley and really see how they attack problems and learn from them and learn things that they wouldn't have figured out on their own. And in the end, they build robots that, that are way beyond what high school students are typically building. The sort of technology that makes a winning robot in FIRST continues to evolve over the years. We, on 971, we work hard to try to be at that front of, the front of that and try to be one of the teams out there pushing the limits of what people are doing and trying to define what makes a winning robot. And that's a lot of fun. The, the competition is really an emotional roller coaster. It starts from when you get the challenge and you're trying to figure out what are you going to do and you have an idea and then you're building a robot and at some point you're committed and then you start seeing what everyone else is doing and you're like, well, did we build the right robot? And then you kind of figure out and work through all the problems and then eventually at the end we, you get something that's working and that's real cool. In preparation for the competition, we spent a lot of time practicing um, our software and our drivers, um, trying to find all the different problems and didn't find all of them. We got here and we found a couple, we found a chain that almost broke on us. We had a tire go flat, we had some wires come out, but you know, we found them, we put it back together and got the robot running in the end. We treat the summer as a building block for the season because the, su the season is just too fast paced to really be able to appreciate it all in one go. So if we spend some time over the summer and the fall and build another robot, work with the kids at a much slower pace and go to another off season, go to a couple off season competitions and hopefully that puts us ready for the regular next season. This year we're graduating a lot of seniors that have been strong members. So. Um, this coming off season, we're really looking to get our next crop of students started and rolling. I'm excited to see what kind of get them get them started on the process, work with them, see see those moments where they're kind of figuring things out and learning what to do. I'm Austin Shu. I'm lead software mentor. I started on Team 971 in 2004 when I was a freshman in high school. Um, we've grown a lot since then. We've gotten a lot more members. Um, the robots started out as almost RC cars with just motors and a simple control system and we've, we've been able to grow the software on the robots and make them more complicated and do a better job at solving the challenge. It's been really fun to watch that progression and be part of it over the years. In recent years we've been working on improving the controls in the robot so we can get the robot to do what we want and so now it's time to start taking those controls and feeding it more information. So we're getting really excited about, you know, we got vision working well on this year's robot and that's a huge step for us. We've never done that before. And we're starting to look at how to improve that and how to use that information to help us find ourselves on the field and you know, add more and more intelligence to these robots. Because I think that's where the future is and it's really cool to be able to teach the kids how all this stuff works. So, so one of the unique things about 971's robots is we're able to take the software and the hardware, you know, great software and great hardware, and put them together and build something that's not possible to do with either just software or just hardware. Um, we do a lot of work with modeling and simulation and testing to help make the software at the level we are. And it's fun to be able to teach the kids industry best practices. This last summer I, I uh, was at one of the off-season competitions and I was able to give a talk on software development and robotics and how to use simulation and testing. And I had a number of teams come up afterwards and trying to figure out how to integrate better software practice into their robots. And that's how we, what we need to do to make these robots better. So we like to take uh, really high quality mentors and have them work together with students. And we think that helps drive the students to build cooler robots and learn more. So we always start the uh, new season out excited to see what the game is, kind of encouraged. Um, and then as we, as we get into build season, we get nervous. Like, did we build the right thing? Is this the robot we want to build? Is it going to work at all? Like, um, and then, you know, it's always fun to see the robot the first time, really exciting to see it turn on and do what it's supposed to do and make that first goal. 
And then we got to buckle down and work hard and figure out what works and what doesn't work and what we need to change. And we changed a lot on this year's robot. We had uh, one of our joints wasn't stiff enough, so it was shaking all over. So we, we upgraded that and made it stiffer. Our intake wasn't fast enough, so we replaced the entire intake. And we believe that you have to keep iterating and keep improving to, to do well. So I work at a, a company doing truck automation and software, and we, we love FIRST students. So we have a number of uh, former uh, FIRST students and mentors of FIRST teams as employees. We have a number of FIRST students coming as interns this summer that we're really excited about, and FIRST students are some of the best. I'm Win Shu, the lead mentor on Team 971, and we're based in Mountain View, California at Mountain View High School, and our, we are the Spartan Robotics. Our team was founded in 2002, that was their rookie year, and a small group of students decided that they were, wanted to have a robotics team. So this is the first year that we've actually used vision on our robot, and we're using the Jetson board to process the images on the robot. So during the autonomous mode, we're one of the few teams in the country that has a two-ball autonomous. We drop a ball, take the ball in, under the low goal, shoot a ball, then go back and get a second one and shoot that one too. And the vision is essential to being able to line up those shots and make them accurately during autonomous. So my name is Micah Carol Munoz and I'm the assembly captain on 971 Spartan Robotics. I think the most common misperception about FIRST is that um, people think it's battle bots and that all the robots are out to destroy each other, but really it's about um, working together on alliances uh, with other teams to do well in matches and um, it's about teamwork. So I initially got involved because I got around to my uh, sophomore year and I knew that I liked engineering and so I was like, this is the best way for me to get involved, to get a hands-on um, experience. I fell in love with our team and so I made friends and I really liked the program to a point where like, I, I want to help out as much as I can. Um, it's just. When you're doing something that you're passionate about, it's, and you have a team with people who are passionate about the same thing and who um, want to succeed as much as you do, um, it's really great to be able to work in that kind of environment. And it's just really infectious and it's really fun. So, so what I think makes our team a winning team is um, our ability to iterate and our ability to adapt to situations. Um, I think also our incredible mentor base. We have mentors that work alongside our students and they do a really amazing job of preparing us and helping us understand what we're doing. When we're not at a regional um, or a competition, we practice with our practice robot, which is an identical robot to this one. But so we figure out what goes wrong on that one and then we write it down and make the modifications on the competition version. Where I want to go next with what I've learned from first is um, I plan to go into mechanical engineering. Um, I'm going to Northeastern University next fall. Um, and to me, engineering is the most efficient way to make an impact. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to make a positive impact um, somewhere in the world. I don't know yet, but that's my goal. We are 971.